flap a normal amount in the one drop. Okay, because there's already a flap of one. Yes, I'm like changing the speed. That's just like changing the speed. Okay, so what do you want to change it to? I mean, I mean, uh, we're meant to change a scene. Okay, so that's scene 39. Okay. Is there any specific one or just 39? Just 39. Okay, and is that all? Yes. Okay, let's see if that's correct. That's correct, good job. You can set the background under any event, not just when the game starts. Try setting a random scene when other events happen, for example, when passing an obstacle. Divek, do you want to have a try? Yep. Okay. Mm. So you can just put the set scene anywhere. Okay, any specific one? Uh, when hit an ob when hit an obstacle. Okay, and which one? Uh, underwater. Okay. Let's see if that works. Yep, Ow. it works. Good job. Uh, I like to try the thing again. Okay. So. Whenever you pass an obstacle, you set scene random. Okay. Let's try that. No, it's when you pass an obstacle. Oh, sorry. Okay. Let's just try that again. This is the right one, yeah. Okay, so yep, that works. Direct entry happens. Good job. So now we're doing this one. To mix up things, instead of ending the game when, Flap, when Flappy hits an obstacle, try setting the score back to zero. Who wants to give it a try? Can I? Yep, sure. Um, You put uh, set score zero under when hit an obstacle. When hit an obstacle. Okay, yeah. And take the end game off. Okay. So like this? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's run it to see the score. Yeah, I think so. Okay, yep, that's correct. Good job. Okay, this is the last one before if we have a bonus. Create your own fluffy game. You can change the visuals and the roles, even the gravity. When you're done, click finish to share with friends on their phone. So we'll just ignore the last sentence. So we'll just do change the visuals and the roles. So who wants to give it a try? Behind, you want to give it a try? Sure. Okay. So I just joined, so what are we doing? So we're just going through the homework. Oh, okay, okay. So you can change. The so do a set scene, city day, and then just put it when pass. No, you already did that. Like do okay. it when click. Just, just. Yep. And then. Any specific set, scene? Set gap. Yeah. Oh, I Set guess. gap 
when run, set gap small. Okay. Yeah. And uh, um, where is it? where is this? Can you scroll back up? Okay. Oh no. Flap a normal amount. When click, flap a large amount. There's all, it's already there. Oh, so now just play. Okay, let's do it. Oh, there's not an... Oh. Sorry? It was glitching. Okay, is it working now? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll start sharing again. And like sometimes your voice is all like cutting off. Oh, I'm not sure why that's happening. Can you see my screen now? Yeah, now it's better. Okay, so I'll just go back to the one that we just did. Okay, so what were you saying, Rihan? Um, when hit obstacle, end game. Okay, so should I remove the set score? Yeah. Okay. Let's run that. So, do you want to change the scene to something else? Because it just stays at the same scene. Do it random. Okay, now let's try that. Oh, okay. also, uh, set, go back. Um, yep. set player. Yeah. One click, random. Okay. Let's try it. Okay, yep, I'll go back to it. Yep, so what else? Set obstacle, set pipe. Um, one start oh, yeah. game. One start game. Win run. Yeah, one run. Yeah. Um, click on it. Um, do it random. Okay, and is that all? Okay, now let's run it. Okay, yep. so now we move on to lesson 13 because there's no bonus slash extra levels challenges. Does anyone have any questions? I don't. Okay. So lesson 13 is also a mini project, the chase game. So first we watch the video. And then I'll be asking what you guys learned in that video after we finish the video. My name is Jordan and I'm Lakota in this purse. I'm also Hopi and Mojave and I lead a team called Global Outsourcing at Pinterest. You're about to get started with PlayLab, which is a tool that lets you make your own stories and games by writing code. PlayLab has a bunch of characters you can pick called actors. Actors can move, say things, and interact with each other. Your code lets you control the actors add sounds and backgrounds, score points and more. You'll drag code blocks into your workspace to build programs. Code that you connect to the orange when run block will make things happen as soon as you press the run button. To make your program react when someone plays with it, you're going to use events. These blocks are called event blocks. 
When we code with events, we're telling the computer to wait for something to happen and then respond right away. The code connected to an event block runs when the player presses a key, taps, or clicks an actor, or when one actor touches another actor. Event blocks can go anywhere in your workspace. They never connect to the when run block so it's okay to leave them off to the side. Take your time and think carefully about how you want your program to work. When you're finished, you'll have something special that you can share with others. Now, what do you want to create? Okay, so who wants to tell me what you guys understood? Can I? Yep, and then should we ask and tell? What I understood was that event blocks, um, you can use them when, whenever, it's like a, it doesn't happen straight away, like we run. It happens yep. when either you use keys, tap on it, or when an, another, um, like a player hits another player, what happens? It's like that. When the, yeah. And event blocks, you can put them anywhere you want. You don't have to particularly connect them to make them work. Yep, that's correct. Shrey asked, what do you want to add on? Um, he mostly, he mostly said um, what, was, when I, what was I going to say. Okay. Daivik, what do you want to add on? Uh, I don't want to add on anything, but like uh, the video was glitching out for me, so I just wanted to ask if you could play it again. Okay, yep, sure. I'll play it again now. Thanks. My name is Jordan, and I'm Lakota in Nez Perce. I'm also Hopi in Mojave and I lead a team called Global Outsourcing at Pinterest. You're about to get started with PlayLab, which is a tool that lets you make your own stories and games by writing code. PlayLab has a bunch of characters you can pick called actors. Actors can move, say things, and interact with each other. Your code lets you control the actors add sounds and backgrounds, score points, and more. You'll drag code blocks into your workspace to build programs. Code that you connect to the orange when run block will make things happen as soon as you press the run button. To make your program react when someone plays with it, you're going to use events. These blocks are called event blocks. When we code with events, we're telling the computer to wait for something to happen and then respond right away. The code connected to an event block runs when the player presses a key taps or clicks an actor, or when one actor touches another actor. Event blocks can go anywhere in your workspace. They never connect to the when run block, so it's okay to leave them off to the side. Take your time and think carefully about how you want your program to work. When you're finished, you'll have something special that you can share with others. Now, what do you want to create? Was it better now? Yep. 
Okay. Does anyone else want to add on anything? Nope. Okay, so now we'll move on to the next challenge. Make George the dog actor one say hi there. He wants to give it a try. Just put the first lock and click on it. And, um, okay. yeah. Is it all? Yep. Okay. Let's see if it's correct. <laughs> yep, it's correct. Good job. Can you make George the dog? Actor one say something, then have all of the cat. Actor two say something afterward. Who wants to go to try? Neil, do you want to try it? Okay. Yep. Show us. Um. No. Okay. Show so you take the first block. Yeah. And uh, get the uh, the same thing. Um. Okay. They block from the block toolbox. Yeah. And uh, for not to the actor number one and the actor number two. So no, the first, first the last one. Okay, yeah. Then say hi when the dog says hi there. Um, say um, how are you doing? Okay, and is that all? Yeah. Okay, let's see if that's correct. Yep. Yep, that's correct. Good job. Can you write a program to make George move toward Olive the cat? Who wants to give it a try? Yeah. Show us. Um. So move actor one, and then you're mostly done now. Okay. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Let's wanted to see if that is. Yeah. That's correct. Good job. Can you write a program that makes George actor one move towards move to all of the cat and have Olive say hi there when George reaches her? Direct one how try? No, thank you. Okay, Rehan, do you want to have a try? Okay, let's let Rehan have a try, and if not, Shri Ans, you can have a try. Okay, so one when run, move after one right 100 pixels. Yep. Yeah. And then when after one touches after two, two after two, say, say hi there, there. Okay, is that all? Yeah. Okay, let's run it to see if that's correct. Yep, that's correct. Good job. Can you write a program to make Octavia the octopus say what's new when she is clicked? Shriyans, do you want to have a try? Do you mean me or the other one? The other one, sorry. Yes, yes. Okay, I'll have a try. Yep. Just put to when actor is clicked, actor one say hi there and then change and then click on the hi there. Yeah. Scroll down and then you'll see what's new. Okay. And is that all? Run. Okay. Let's see if this is correct. Yep, that's correct. 
Good job. Let's play a game. Move the penguin to the octopus to score points. Score five points to win. Shreya, do you want to have a try? Okay. This one you actually have to use your arrow keys and stuff. So unless Shreya uh, shares a screen, you will have to move your arrow keys. Okay, he can tell me like which arrow keys to move. Okay, so. Turn right. Right. Yeah. Right. Wait, I have a question. Can you hold it down? Down. You can no, hold it like, yeah, press hold it and down. Press it. Oh, like that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now do the same thing, but left and right. Left. Yeah, left and right. And then. Right. Yeah. Do the same thing again. <laughs> okay. How many times do I have to do it? Five. Okay. Now just one more time. Yeah. Yep, that's correct. Good job. So the rest of this lesson will be homework, I think. Let me just check. Yep, so this lesson will be homework. I'll just show you the instruction for what we have to do for level eight and forward. Now write a program to make rattles the penguin move around using the up, down, left, right keys to hit all of the targets. So maybe we'll just do this one and then the rest will be homework. I finished left. Okay, that's all right. Doctor, do you want to have a try? Uh, me, I was just moving on to Can the I try me? Okay. Can you help yep. me? So, when up arrow, move actor one up. Yeah. When right arrow, move actor one right. The up, there's an arrow at the up. And it's turn right. Yeah. When it's down right arrow, yet. move actor one um down. Help. You yeah. this. When left arrow, put move actor one left. Okay. Does everyone think that's correct? I think so. Okay, let's run it. <laughs> what, do, what do I have to do now? The arrow keys um, and hit all the time. Okay. Or? Keep coding. Something's not quite right yet. That's correct. So, good job. Or? So, the rest of this lesson will be homework. And if you've done it, you can just do it again if you want or just leave it. So, now we move on to the next lesson. Oh, no. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. No. Keep coding. Something's not quite right yet. Wait, are we going to complete this today? Yep, so we'll be doing lesson 14 today. So is lesson, is the rest of lesson 13 the only homework that we have? Yes, that's correct. So lesson 14, picturing data. Chris, run, the wizard will make animals appear. Count them. What do you notice? So who wants to tell me what to do? Yep, sure, yes. Um, click right. Okay. Wait. 
Um. Okay, so did you count it? Um, yeah, um, three, um, three cactus, three birds, and six, um, dogs. Okay, so what do you have to do now? I don't know. Okay. Maybe touch it? You just, you just press finish. It's supposed to be you just looking at okay. them and... Touch right. Okay, so that's it for today's lesson. That was really short. Yep, so um, on Friday, I'm not sure what time, we'll be doing 15, which is a video, and then just finishing off 16. Uh, can I tell you something? 15 is not a video. Um, it's actually an activity you have to do in our real life. Oh, okay. So we'll see on Friday. Okay. Bring yep. up the magic. So let's see if there are any bonus levels. If not, we'll just take... Oh, yep, yeah, there is a bonus level. Use a new block to make Rattles automatically move back to the start when he runs into the, the dinosaur and when he scores a point. This will make your game more challenging and fun. Run the game and move, play the game and move Rattles with the arrows until you score five or more points. Rattles must be moved to the middle left position of the screen to complete this challenge. One thing for this challenge, you have to finish all of Lesson 13, but you only left it up to Lesson 8, so we can't do this. Okay, so I think I have access to do it, so we'll just do it together, and then, like, when you guys do your homework, just make sure you also do this one. Do you guys understand that? Yeah, so can I do this one? Yep, yeah, sure. Okay, so do a when after one touches after two. So, oh, yeah. Um, set after one to the middle left position. Okay, so, now uh, have a when after one touches after two, but change it to after three. When after one touches after two. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay, then you put score a point, score point. Right. Yep. Yeah. Then set after one to the middle left position. Yes. No, just put it, don't do that, just put it. Okay. In oh, yeah. Sorry. Set. So just like this? Yep, now run. Okay. So what do I do? Just use your arrow keys. Oh, dude, you have you have to make the crocodile move and everything. That's why you have to do the other level. And because okay. then it will sit to here. All oh, right. Okay. But you still completed it. Because all right. I have to do is get. It. So I can just do this. So that's technically what you're going to kind of do, but then. Like we did earlier, yeah, the octopus, yeah, the crocodile that. will be moving for you guys. Yeah. So then you'll just be like going sideways that's how cool. we did earlier. Yeah, try to dodge it. Okay, yeah, so that's all for today's class. If everyone turns on their videos, we'll have a photo.
Does everyone have their videos on? Okay, three, two, one, smile. Okay, that's all for today. If you guys have any questions, you can stay behind and ask. Yeah. What do we do when our course is done? Hi. So we'll, do we do another uh, course? We'll, um, I'm not sure. You'll get more information on Friday, most probably. It's just because I did, I completed course D. Okay. Have you completed course C? Uh, no, I didn't complete 